Are you worried about your past? Are you thinking about the past or the future? That's not allowing you to be in the present moment. Jesus said, let the dead bury their dead. That was about the past. Don't worry about the past. Do not think about that. When he mentioned that, it was about the people that were getting caught up in their own head garbage. And he said to one of the apostles, let the dead bury their dead. Let them think about whatever they're thinking about that's preventing them from coming along with us on this spiritual path. I find that very soothing when when uh, when I'm tr trying to get like uh, the word out there to say you can control your future you can heal yourself you can live and be happy it's just a choice but those people that choose to hang on to their stories, their past stories, their BS, their reasons why they can't be happy, that's what Jesus meant by let the dead bury their dead. Forget about it. You can't, you can't carry everybody into the promised land. When they realize those people that, you know, if you're on this path like I am and you're, you are a, a, you realize you're a light worker, a, a cosmic being. When you realize that and you, then you look to others who haven't realized that and you try to with all your might to try to get them to see, to crack their eyes open, to crack their ears open, but they won't budge. That's what's meant. Let the dead bury their dead. They're like, can't, sorry, you gotta cut your, cut your losses and, and move on. Not that you don't love them. Choose to love them, but you cannot Allow yourself to not go down a path because somebody else wants to drag you back into what used to be. This is often when you're on the path to enlightenment, spiritual, you know, you're heightening your, your awareness and you are becoming more evolved and you are reaching higher levels of consciousness, you will be in contact with people who maybe you used to know before you started down the path. And when you're in touch with those people, those people want to drag you back into the past. They'll be like, oh, that's not like you. And they're trying to tell you what or how you are. But you've come to realize that what they thought you were, you are not that. But they're trying to put you back in that, that candy shell. They're trying to drag you back into that. Going, no, 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 you don't do this. This is weird. This is weird. You're not like this. This is not like you. You're not acting like yourself. What's wrong with you? So, nice deep breath. Realize that what frame of mind they're coming from is fear. They don't understand this. They don't know it. It's out of their comfort zone to even think some of these things. So, be fine with it. But do not go back into that candy shell. Besides, I don't think you can actually go back into that. That lovely candy shell. You've got a new candy shell. You're moving and 
the right direction. But don't allow them to try and drag you back into that past, into what that old construct of you was. You're wakening up. You're waking up. Or awakening up, whichever. Choose whichever one you feel is right. <laughs> I think it's waking up, yes. You are awakening. Because you're waking up. Not awakening up. <laughs> but I'm glad you're awakening up. And don't go past. Don't go back. Don't go back into that, that delicious candy shell. You got a new shell, which is no shell, which is just your pure, beautiful, enlightened self. That positive, pure you that's you. Much love to you. Namaste.